Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the function in Excel called sum product. So basically I've set up a little example to illustrate how this uh, one function can save you a lot of typing and a lot of time, especially as you're, uh, as always, as you're <clears throat> the things you want to sum, the products that you want to sum get larger and larger the quantity of stuff. So in other words, first let's talk about what this thing does. Let's say you have these two rows here and basically you want to multiply each number from the first row by the corresponding number in the second row. Okay. All the way on down the row. So in this case there's just six but you can imagine there could be a column of this stuff with ton with thousands of lines and you put the answer here so here we would get one here we would get four here we would get nine I'm gonna skip the square here we get 16 25 and 36 right and then one more step you want to add all these in other words you want the sum product of all this now this comes up a lot not the least of the times in when you're doing linear programming. So this actually, I've done it before, it comes out to 91. Now that's the long way. And you could do that using some Excel trickery. Just multiply and then drag across. And then equal sum. And then just highlight this row of products. And you get 91. There's one function called the sum product. So equal sum product open parentheses you highlight the first array comma you highlight the second array and if you had a third fourth fifth you can go on and on the only caveat is that the length of the arrays must be of equal length in other words there are six numbers here there must be six numbers in the second and if there was a third there would have to be six they don't necessarily have to be aligned like this but they have to be six they have to be the same number. Here we have two. Two arrays of six each. I close that, hit enter, and I get 91. Much quicker and much more uh, uh, straightforward than doing it in this procedure. Another way you could have thought of is to do this whole thing in one function. So this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this you see already it's starting to get weary this times this and if I did that right we should get 91 right so look at the difference between this function and this function especially this is just six numbers when we get when you get to a much bigger scenario it'll get a lot uh, more work this saves you a lot more work. So the sum product function once again equals sum product. Highlight your first array, and it doesn't matter the order because multiplication uh, is commutative. Comma the second array. So I did them in reverse order, just so you see I get the same answer. Okay. So hope this function was helpful. Uh, if you are uh, using this function probably in linear programming or in any other scenario, be sure to check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer trick videos. Go to my channel, subscribe, comment to this video, and please click on our sponsors' ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Until next time, have a great day.